if you don't pick i'll be just be like huh, what is happening what is happening where is he now what will he be doing now is there a babe around him and all that girls you understand what i'm saying right If you're in a long distance relationship then you want to watch this video i'd advise you you grab a pen and you grab a notebook and take down some very important notes because i'll be spilling some very very important tips that i'm sure are going to help you in a long distance relationship disclaimer i'm not um I'm not a marriage counselor, I'm not a relationship expert, I, I have no degree on counseling or whatsoever, but I've experienced long distance relationship twice. So I have been in long distance relationship twice, one failed and one was a complete success. So I'll be giving you tips based on my experiences from my long distance relationship and I know it's going to help you. So let's get into the video. What is a long distance relationship? A long distance relationship basically is a relationship in which both partners are not geographically located together. So one, my, you guys might be in the same town but farther apart, you might be in the same country but in different locations of the country, you might be in different corners of the world. That is basically a long distance relationship. How does it come about? So nowadays, a lot of relationships, a lot of marriages stem from online dating. Online dating is one of the methods, one of um, which, uh, ways in which you get into a long distance relationship. Another way is, it can be that you guys were in a relationship together, geographically located in the same place together, but due to maybe work or due to school or other plans, you had to be separated geographically. So this is how it comes about. In either case, they are all long distance relationship. So, um, you, we all know that relationships in general can be very challenging you will agree with me on that even if you guys are in the same house even if you are in the same city or whatever it can be very challenging talk more of when you guys are further apart so we be, i believe that once you, when you are further apart then you need to put in more effort to make it work reasons why i'm bringing you these tips so let's get straight into it guys the very first thing that i'll say we should consider what i would say is very important the goal what is the goal like with any venture like with anything that you want to step into you want to know what the goal is you want to know what the objective is of that stuff same with long distance relationship what is your goal why are you getting the long distance relationship these days people would date for fun people would date for pleasure pleasure of it or do you want it to be like a long-term something that is marriage now once you have set your goal the next thing is your commitment now if you are in a long distance relationship because you want to get married obviously you are going to be committed right obviously it's going to be a priority to you because you want to make it succeed you want it to be a success so after you have known what your goal is for both of you both um, couples or both partners you go into the next thing which is which is your commitment if you are going to school you have to study hard you have to work out you have to put your head in your book work same if you are work if you are doing a business you have to be strategic you have to plan it and all that so with a long distance relationship which is <laughs> very important business you have to also make sure that you are committed to it commitment for both partners it shouldn't be 50 50 i don't think it's 50 50 i think it's 100 100 you bring in your all i bring in my all and together we make this work so we are supposed to be committed to make sure that we achieve that goal which in this case would be marriage right yes the next thing i'm going to be talking about is this tip is very important because I think it was one of the failures of one of the reasons why my previous one of my long distance relationship failed. But in all things, we give God we give God praise, right? Because everything works together for our good, and I'm so 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 blessed to be here right now. Um, that was just an aside. But like I was saying, communication is the third tip, which is one of the 
very important tips when it comes to any relationship we all know how communication is important guys communication communication and not just any kind of communication constantly communicating with each other it can be a little bit easier if you guys are located in the same time zone but these days one person might be in Asia one person might be in Dubai one person might be in Africa so it can get a little bit challenging so when it comes to communication guys i would suggest that you try your best to communicate with each other it might be through a, a, a little text message a short text message it might be through long calls but with the way things are going you, you might be busy with work you might be busy with other commitments and you will not have um you might not always have the time to sit down and talk for long hours i for one in my relationship when I was um, like, we would just sit on the phone for six hours, not talking to each other, just being there, just being present, which is really good. But if you don't have that time on your hands, guys, what do we do? We have to make the most out of what we have. So you might be at work, right? And your baby somewhere, just shoot her a message. Hey, babe. Hey, boo. How are you doing? So just to touch a base to make sure that the other person knows that, hey, my my boo is thinking about me you know that gives us a sense of warmth like this other person cares the other person has me at heart it's important to have these long conversations but let's make the most out of the little time we have it might be a text message it might be a short call that's fine we get it that's is that even better than not communicating at all girls am i communicating because i know that girls even though men love communication but i for one i'm a huge communicator i love communication so much so yes that is a very important tip the next tip i'm going to be talking about is sacrifice 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 love is all about sacrificing guys you cannot love someone without sacrificing for the person so this even goes in line with um the previous point communication if you guys are not located together so you have to sacrifice even if it's midnight if it's 2 a.m in the morning if it's 5 a.m in the morning if the other person is available just so you guys can talk it's very important so when even talk comes to sacrifice i it's even going to be like um what does the other person love maybe some flowers maybe your girlfriend loves flowers. maybe your fiance loves flowers maybe she loves some nice text messages send her or send him those things that you know he would appreciate that he's going to know that oh she's thinking about me in this day and age you can be in dubai you can be in wherever in the world and you are still able to pull strings across so your girl can feel loved and um and her, what is the word? She, she can feel loved and her. You guys help me. Help me. <laughs> she can feel loved from wherever she is, right? So it's very important that you, you do these things. Also, if you know your partner's love language, you should know your partner's love language. Your partner's love language can be words of affirmation, can be acts of service. Just know your partner's love language and make sure that you always deliver. Try to always deliver just so that your relationship flourishes. And another thing I would say, this is just um, once I know we we'll always have like misunderstandings, right? So if you have a misunderstanding, please try to sort it out immediately. Don't <laughs> we ladies like to do shakara? I love to do shakara and I would advise that sometimes it's just better to let our ego down for a little bit because you're talking about a relationship, right? If you want it to work, girl, pride comes before a fall. It's good to be humble. It's not always difficult to say I'm sorry. Sorry won't hurt. Sincere apologies is important, especially when you love this person and you want your relationship to work. So that was an aside but it's very important point like i was saying sacrifice sacrifice if you if you don't have the opportunity to meet each other somewhere or to fly across the world or across the town or to drive across the city to meet this person maybe due to business or business and all that always make sacrifices make sure that the other person feel love before you eventually meet Okay, the what point am I on? Is it the fifth point, the fourth point? I don't know, I'm not counting. But the next point I'm going to be talking about is trustworthy. 
trustworthy slash accountability you would all agree with me that trust it's a very important um it's very important in relationships and once the trust is broken it is hard for it to be mended how do you get this trust again the trust can come with you just showing your partner that you are there for them that you love them make them feel heard even when you're communicating make sure that you are not just there just to just to reply but you're actually a good listener to each other it's very important and then talking about trust trust can come in the form of being accountable you guys are in different parts of the world and I for one if I don't if I call you and you don't pick and one two three times you don't pick I'll be just be like huh, what is happening what is happening where is he now what would he be doing now is there a babe around him and all that girls you understand what I'm saying right yeah so it's very good that the other person knows what you are doing if you are going to work like the other person should have your schedule like i can be sitting in my room or in my office or my, my place of work and i am certain that my boo my fiance my husband my wife is at, is actually doing so so and so and you know what i mean right like it should be it should be like you should know the other person's schedule to the topmost that builds a level of trust at least for me and I, I want to believe that this is like that for many people that builds a level of trust that way you will not be cracking your head thinking where is where, where might he be is he out frolicking or, or like I don't know so trust goes hand in hand with accountability be accountable to one another that way the other person can easily call you to order if you're sleeping away yeah we all know these things can be this, uh, this long distance relationship can be quite hard so it's always good that the other person has you in check anyways i've been talking for so long now if you have enjoyed listening to me if you have enjoyed seeing my beautiful face please 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 consider subscribing it will help me a lot it would encourage me it would motivate me to keep showing up for you guys please so i would really really appreciate your subscription your like your comments beautiful beautiful comments i love to read wonderful comments beautiful comments and then please share with your loved ones whoever you think might be in need yeah okay let's go to the last point the last point which is very important guys very 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 important is let christ let god be at the center of your relationship i cannot overemphasize on this enough well, the Bible tells us that God is the orchestration of marriage, right? Marriage is sacred. He created marriage. He made man and he brought a woman to him. A woman is going to be the flesh of his flesh, the bone of his blood, the bone of his bone. So it is very important that we go back to the drawing board. We go back to the drawing board. If you're having difficulties in your relationship, you go back to the drawing board. You go back to the word of God. You go back to God. You cry out to God. Let God be at the center of everything in your life. And in this case, your relationship. And trust me, it's going to work around. It's going to work for your good. In the case of putting God at the center of your relationship, you guys should study the word study the word pr pray together it's very 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 important just be spiritually connected be spiritually connected even if you are physically connected you can be you can also do you can also be physically connected through games these days we have like online games where you can play just to make your other your partner feel that just to be connected with each other so to a spiritual connection make sure that you're, you're connected to the root which is christ let your relationship be the let christ be the anchor of your relationship and watch him do wonderful things for you the bible says in the book of psalms chapter number 37 verse 5 it says commit your ways to the lord and he will prosper you so commit your marriage to the lord commit your relationship to the lord and you would see everything falling for your good you see your relationship being peaceful being wonderful being blissful and you have it so that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for staying till the very end. I hope you stay till the very end. And I hope you have subscribed. Please, 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 please. I am pleading.
it is free of charge but it's gonna mean so much to me it doesn't cost a thing so please subscribe and i'll see you on my next video bye